So the first thing to talk about you guys is always, when do we use the perfect tense? So let's, first of all, actually, let's talk about some examples of the per, a perfect tense. Okay, what is, what is the present perfect? Gosh, what is that? What is that? Okay, so present perfect is, I have been teaching for 15 years, okay? Have been, this is your, so you've got the, uh, the word have, all right? And then you've got this, which we call the past participle. So we use this tense really often in, in American English, okay? And what often happens or what I hear from uh, my students is they will forget this word. So they'll say, I've been teaching for 15 years, okay? Why would they do that? Why would that word be the word that is forgotten? Why would that be? Here's me reading. I'm going to read the sentence to you. I've been teaching for 15 years. I've been teaching because I'm not really saying this, right? So first what happens is, of course, we contract it. We contract it. So you've got I've. So what ends up happening is this part becomes so tiny or small that people don't hear it unless you're a native speaker, okay? But what I want you guys to practice is saying, um, is, is practicing I've been, I've, it's there, okay? If you're gonna just say I've been, I've been teaching English for 15 years, um, it's going to sound, um, it's not gonna sound like very good English, okay? So practice this I've, I've, okay, I've. So here's another example. She has seen the movie already. Okay, she's seen the movie already. If we contract that, like we use with other tenses as well. So it's not she is, okay, it's she has. Okay, remember like, if we use um, the present progressive, this is also gonna be she's, okay? So sometimes she's, um, is she is, and sometimes she's is she has. And of course you would know that as indicated by these words, right? So um, don't worry too much about that, but of course we wanna always practice the pronunciation of the contractions because they make up a large part of, of the sentence, okay? Um, so she, she has seen the movie already, okay? We'll also talk a little bit about this since four already. Now, okay, so let's go back. So when do we use this tense? When do we use this tense? So the present perfect is, um, here's our timeline. Okay, we've got the past, the present, and the future, okay? So we use this tense when we talk about something that started happening, something that started happening in the past, and continues to now, okay? And maybe even will continue into the future, okay? So this sentence, for example, I have been teaching for 15 years is true in that case. I started 15 years ago, right here. I'm teaching right now, still, and I will continue into the future, okay? That's why this is kind of a dotted line. It could stop today. I've been teaching for 15 years and today I'm done. Okay. Um, so that's fine. But, you know, for mo like a lot of scenarios, we just have to say it will likely, it will probably continue into the future. Okay. So let's find out.